My name is Abdurrahim Kour. Okay. And the farm's name is Riverview Organic Farm. Yeah, normally if it's for a Kilian, I don't, I don't pack them here at the farm. I take them home, home, wash them, and then leave it. I have a cloth where I will spread them. Then all the water will drain, mm -hmm. and then before I put them in the pot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to show you how it goes. Oh, uh, normally, normally I have Kilian from around Carnifing End. I will send theirs at Swigam Carnifing because my brother is there. Okay. He will take them there as early as eight o'clock. You can get your order. So those around Bruzubi, we have another branch at Bruzubi. Those that, that one will go to Bruzubi, and the people around there can collect Let's from collect them. Collect it. From. You can taste it. You can eat. Oh, okay. Because this, I don't think I will sell. I will take to. I will take it home. Then at least this one will be. The, the family will enjoy. Then my boys also. I will give them one. Give box. them one box. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for coming back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, consider to subscribe and hit on the bell notification. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to say a very big thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. 15 kilos. 15 kilos? Yes. Okay. That's the highest one I, 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 you I ever made. Uh, yeah. 15 kilos. But this year, the, the fruits are big. Okay. But for, for this season, from the beginning to date, uh, 8 kilos is the highest. 8 kilos? Corner, yeah. Sometimes 8. But it's, you know, it's every 3 days. Okay. This one is the 4th day, but you know, now it has come down now. So I did not have it yesterday. I should have had it yesterday. But yeah, yesterday. Okay. For you, yeah. okay. So, but normally we don't have like this. But now this, see, this, this force go is done now. Okay. So now we're expecting it to start maybe next week or two weeks. But because you have seen they've started flowering a lot now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so very soon it will continue again. Okay. So normally, according to my observation, it has three stages this season. It will flower and then fruit for some, some time. And then it will stop and then flower. Okay. So when it flowers, then it will, you will continue to harvest. For some time then it will stop again and then flower for the second time then that one it will you will harvest till the rainy season at least the first go of the rainy season you will harvest then it will stop so but normally you don't harvest during rainy season because we don't have food but we want to try this rainy season indoors and see yeah indoors and see okay. but we believe that if it is inside under a, a green greenhouse it will produce it's experimenting. Yeah, we're doing more, most of <laughs> experiments, yeah. Uh, okay. But we, we believe that it's a seasonal crop and when the season comes, no matter how the plant looks small, looks. it will still produce. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Even like these ones, we remove them because you cannot sell something like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this way, eaten by birds. You know, so, but we remove them all. We put only the fresh ones. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. If it is a little bit affected, then we have to remove it. Remove it out. Yeah. So what about this one? Yeah, even that one you remove it. I have to remove it. Yeah. So, but it's eatable. You can just. It's eatable, yeah. yeah you can but just, you cannot sell you it. Cannot sell, sell it. it no. Okay. Yeah. It's eatable, but you cannot sell, sell it. Sell it. Because they are very sensitive. The more time they spend with you, mm. then the more chance of getting rotten. Whoa, well, okay, okay. So that's why if we pack them, normally I use clean flint and cover it, but I don't cover it until when the customer come to the collect them. Customer comes to I collect. cover. If the person is not going far or you have a car, I will explain. If you understand, then I don't cover it. I give it to you like that. Oh, okay. So at least it can stay longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. it can stay longer. Like this one's all. You have to remove them because this one. Yeah. Whoa, okay. As long as the bird touch them, then you cannot you cannot sell them. Cannot sell them. Mm. You already have a client for this right now. Uh, for this one, I have a lot of clients, but for this one, I don't think I will sell this one. No, it's it's it's, uh, it's small. Okay. Uh, I told them already that the production has gone down. Okay. So maybe next week. 
we can start production again. Production again. So normally I use these boxes. Okay. But if it is at home, I have a punch. I will punch and make more holes on them so that air can circulate inside because the strawberry is very strawberry. sensitive. Okay. But it's here. So normally I select, I just don't take only big ones or small ones. I select the big ones and small ones. Small ones, ones yeah. you mix them? I mix them, yeah. Oh, okay. So I just mix them. At least anybody will have a taste of the small one and small the ones and yeah. the big ones. Just select them random like that. Oh, okay. Mm. So, but this box, no matter how big or small they are, when it's full, it's half kilo. It, when it's full, it's half it's kilo. It's half kilo, yeah. You oh, know, okay. These people, they, 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 they do their homework very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I believe sometimes I'm more than half kilo because me always I underrate things. When I put I say no, it's not enough. Maybe it's not enough. Yeah, so I just keep putting. Put I in. want it to be very nice. Okay. So this is how I pack my strawberry. And on the, at the top, normally I put on the big ones at the top so that it can be very, very, very attractive. Nice, you know? Yeah. Attractive. The box, what is on everything? It's not even English? No, it's Swedish. Swedish, okay. Swedish is from Sweden. Sweden, okay. This one is for you and your team. <laughs> okay, thank so, you. At least that's, that's an example of how it goes. So okay. normally I have a clean print that I will use to cover it. Cover it, okay. Yes. Clean. Yeah, normally if it's for a Killian, I don't, I don't pack them here at the farm. I take them home, home. wash them, and then leave it, I have a cloth where I will spread them, then all the water will drain, mm -hmm. and then before I put them in the pot. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I just want to show you how it goes. Oh, uh, normally, normally I have Killian from around Carnifing end. I will send theirs at Swigam Carnifing, because my brother is there. Okay. He will take them there as early as eight o'clock, you can get your order. So those around Bruzubi, we have another branch at Bruzubi. Those, that, that one will go to Bruzubi and the people around there can collect from, collect them. from there. Around my area, Banyurunding Lamin, I will, I will, I will deliver. Oh. So we have a branch in Tabokoto. If I have any Kilian around Tabokoto also, I will send yours because we have cars that will go all to those branches in the morning. Oh. So I will send them there. Then I will call you that your order is already at Carnifin or at Bruzubi. Then you will just easily go and pick go it, and from, pick there, it yes. from there. You can pick it there and then pay there. Okay. That's how it goes. If I don't have any Kilian, when I put this on status, now, 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 no. you will see messages. Come, messages message, coming. message. <laughs> I want one kilo, I want two kilos, you know. I got to know a lot of people because of this strawberry. Because what happened, I was running away from this social media because I was, this is what I was running from. But when I went to Fadi, the guy from the, with the cocoa plant, when yeah. I went to him, he said, are you not on Facebook? I said, I'm on Facebook, but I don't advertise. He said, no. So we, he just took a picture of me and him immediately, and then he posted. posted. So from there, I started having calls, calls, calls. People started to come. So sometimes weekend, I don't even have time to work because Saturday, I have a lot of visitors. And you know, from the highway to here is far. So far. I have to go, go, pick some people, come. Before I'm settled, other people will come, and then I will go and pick them, come. So it's always like that. Okay. But it's it's really love. It's really nice to work with this type of. But well, this this year we have far bigger than this, big okay. big ones, you know, real big ones, yeah. And normally it's from the ones under the sun. The ones under the sun. Yes. <laughs> but there is one Holland guy who came here, and then he was not happy with those ones under the sun. I I told him it was by then they have not started fruiting. I told him, but normally we have big ones and fresh ones from those ones under the sun. Under the sun. But he could not understand that. He said, these crops should be under the shade. Under the shade. Yes. I said, okay, let's see. <laughs> but at least by experience, that was not the first time. Okay. I've been doing it for like three years now. Okay. So at least I've seen the difference from these ones under the shade and the ones that are... The one under the sun. Under the sun, yeah. They, oh. they are really big fruits, yeah. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you are not a subscriber, Please consider to do so because you'll be seeing amazing videos like this. Thank you very much.